love to share our pictures of a fun night out with friends on Facebook or express a strong political opinion in, tw in a Twitter post. But how much of that do we really want our employers to see? Having fun on social media sites while still remaining professional can be tricky. That's why we're discussing it tonight on our social media panel. Megan O'Day is joining me here from Riverworks Marketing. Now, we're here to talk about this, and I think it's something that is very new because we didn't really have to worry about this. We live in a day and age that everything you post on the Internet is available to everyone. Yeah, it really, really is. And it's interesting because... I mean, you think back to 100 years ago, and there were these big cultural ideas about like the public sphere and the private sphere, and what happened at home stayed at home, and mm -hmm. that was like Las Vegas. And then you put on this professional face in the world, and now everything's public all the time. We're all our own PR specialists, and people go down in flames over this. Right. The, the tricky part is trying to get a, around this stuff when, when you do want to share things with your friends and your family, but you don't necessarily want everyone to see this up, especially your employee, um, w when you're a professional person, you don't want it all getting out there. Yeah. So, so how do you get around that? Well, there's privacy settings that, that kind of help on Facebook, things like that, but, but they're not always available enough. Well, I mean, one of the issues comes from, um, I mean, you can work with privacy settings and things like that, and those are hugely helpful, but there's also the fact that social media is all about authenticity, and people can tell more than ever, readers are more savvy, um, customers that you're marketing to are more savvy than ever, they're better at understanding when you're being fake, mm -hmm. and that anonymity that you have on social media too makes it even more tempting to speak in a way that you never would to someone's face. You can see that on online reviews, you can see that in any comment section people say horrible stuff. Right. Um, so it's really walking that fine line between who you really are who you are when no one's watching, and who you are when everyone's watching. And so that works if you're on an anonymous site, but if you're being yourself, you know, you and I are a little bit different because you are a columnist, so, so you're paid to express your opinion and talk about a lot of things. I have to be very careful about what I say because I don't want to get in trouble. And so I know on your Twitter, you're mm -hmm. very free and open. I mean, your, Twitter, your tweets are hilarious. We've got it pulled up here if you want to walk us through some of the stuff you've got here. Yeah, I mean, I've got, I'm really lucky in that one, my employers happen to be understanding about the position I'm in as a social media professional. And two, I do happen to have to build my public personal brand um, in a more honest way than mm -hmm. a lot of people do. So, you know, you can see from my tweets just today, um, I had a scheduled tweet about this great article on alcohol as an escape from perfectionism. A huge part of my personal brand is um, sort of feminism and professional issues. So. so people want to hear you. They don't want to hear you be super straight-laced and professional. They want to hear the, the real you, which is very cool. Yeah. I think the most, uh, the, the part where you really have to be the most careful is when you're coming out of college because college students have mm -hmm. all those fun party spring break pictures and now they're getting to the workforce. So you have to go through, delete all those pictures and right. clean it up. That's the most important thing so so it is important to keep that professional look good online remember who's looking your mom your grandmother your employer and everything like that exactly. thank you so much for talking to the to us about that Megan and we're going to be right back in just a minute <laughs> 